Hi, everyone. Thanks, Rob, for inviting me in on this discussion. It's a really important one, and it's something that I think about all the time. How do we save the planet? How are we going to save this precious place that we all call home? You know, as an ecologist, I like to think about all the interactions between species and how important they are, and sometimes how unexpected they are. Uh, there's so much we know about ecology, but there's a lot more that we don't know. So every little piece that we lose seems to threaten the whole system and ourselves included. So how do you get your head around something that none of us will ever really fully understand? That's always the dilemma for me. And uh, I love to talk about the science of ecology and get people into the idea of interconnectedness of things around the planet. But still, it's a big, complex topic. So. To me, what my approach has been and what I like to talk about is the value of one family of animals. And since I was 18 years old, I've been mildly obsessed with the bears of the world, fell into learning about them and becoming passionate about them quite by mistake. But when I did, it changed, changed everything for me because it gave me a tool suddenly to start using to talk to people about the value of these species and others. So let's take the bears. There's eight species of them, and if you were to combine them all, the distribution on the planet of all those eight bear species, then you would find that they cover about a third of the Earth's land surface. So to me, if we manage bear country, bear habitat well and soundly for bears, for other species, and ultimately ourselves, we end up protecting a third of the Earth's land surface. And I have a great example of it from just this morning. This is the forest where I've hiked hundreds of times in the local forest near my home in Washington State. And I had no idea until this morning when I checked my remote camera traps in this forest that there are bears here. <laughs> this is what I found this morning and it has made my day. Big, beautiful black bear in the forests of Northwest Washington. And here he is disappearing off into the ferns behind the tree. See him there? What a scene. And I literally checked the cameras about 15 minutes ago and uh, was absolutely delighted to find this. Something completely unexpected. But my point is that this bear's presence tells me something about this forest. That this forest is wild enough and providing enough food for at least one bear to live in it or even just pass through is pretty special. And as an ecologist and somebody who likes to monitor the health of these places and discover what bears can teach us about them. This is a pretty magic thing. So, all right, I hope you enjoy the rest of the, the blog entries here because it's a really, really worthwhile thing that we're discussing and, and uh, we're all in this together after all. Take care. This is you and what they need, we need because we're all in this together. Our future relies on these wild places. What can you do? Go on your own journey. Learn everything you can. Discover those working to protect bears, their ecosystems, and the wild spaces they inhabit. Join them. Support them. Tell others. Because what's good for bears is good for people and the planet.